hello you guys and welcome to my channel i hope everyone out there is doing well so this is going to be a reading for my gemini's this is going to be a full moon reading at this time okay so please take what resonates with you leave the rest also you guys if something does resonate with you please don't forget to hit that like button comment subscribe so that you can get more readings like this also, I feel like um, this is going to be, I'm going to use my Moonology and my Astrology deck. So, if you are familiar with your birth chart, this is the time to possibly pull that out and see, you know, what messages could be specifically for you throughout this reading. So, first, I'm going to talk a little bit about the full moon and then we're going to pull some cards, you guys, okay? All right, so this full moon is going to be in Sagittarius and this is also known as the Strawberry Moon. This is the second super moon we've experienced so far this year. This is the last full moon of the spring before the summer solstice, okay? This moon is about learning how to be more free-spirited and expanding your heart and mind. This is a great time for manifesting, especially if you're still holding on to heavy emotions from a past or previous relationship. Manifest at this time and ask to release that type of energy. So if you guys are familiar with the moon cycles, if you follow the full, full moon, new moon, you know, lunar eclipse, all that type of stuff. But you're familiar with the moon cycles, then you know about manifesting. And if you're not, you know, familiar with it, I'll let you know. During a full moon, you know, you usually can see the full moon about two to three days before it actually illuminates. Like the day that it says full moon, that's not the only day the moon is out and that it's full. I saw the full moon yesterday. Like I said, it normally comes about three days before that, it, you know, you see it on a date. That's just the date that it's actually illuminated or it's the brightest. But during this time, if you're into manifesting, I always write down my manifestations. I go with her. I go out there and like Bruno Mars say, I go talk to the moon, you know. I manifest. I call upon my church and ancestors, my spirit guides. I let them know what I want to manifest. And it's like a prayer, basically. Like you're just basically talking, okay? Since this full moon is in Sagittarius and it's Gemini season, this is a powerful time to also manifest abundance. If you've been in the house for in hermit mode for a while, this is a time to get out the house, have fun, explore, socialize, and allow yourself to be more open to receive this abundance. This abundance. Okay, so let's pull some moonology for you guys and see what type of energy is around this full moon. So what type of energy is around the full moon for my Gemini spirit? What type of energy is around my so Gemini doing this full moon? What type of energy is around my Gemini doing this full moon spirit? Okay, so we have, don't let the past hold you back. This is your south node. So during this full moon, some of you guys may look, need to look and see what placements are in your south node. But you know, your south node is when you learn lessons that prepares you to be able to walk in your divine path and in your purpose for your north node. So your south node is all about learning. You're learning lessons. You're going through a lot of cycles, you know, a lot of hardships at this time. But it's like whatever you've been going through, don't allow that to hold you back, okay? Don't allow your past to hold you back. And these are past relationships, dealing with past people, whatever the situation could be. Don't allow that past to hold you back, Gemini. What messages do you have, my Gemini? Here? What type of energy is around them during the full moon? Then we have the end of a tough cycle approaches with the full moon and Capricorn. So I feel like whatever you've been dealing with, like I said, a lot of this could be a lot of you dealing with energy from your past. Like I said, these can be past relationships. So remember, I just spoke about, you know, this is the time that you've been holding on to people or relationships, hurt and pain from a, a previous past. You know, this is the time to manifest and release that type of energy. If you're looking for new love or even if you just want to focus on yourself, but you just want to let go of that energy that's around you, this full moon is a great time to do that. And we have, don't let your past hold you back. Some of you are wanting to manifest something new, but it's like because of whatever pain or hurt that you went through in the past, it's like you're kind of scared to move forward. But the end of a tough cycle approaches here. Once you let go of this past, the end of a type circle is going to approach. Then what we have here, a new start is coming. So I feel like a lot of you have put an ending to whatever pain that you felt in your past. And it's like, that's why you have that tough cycle is coming to an end here. And you're going to have a new beginning. Because we know when you have an ending, that makes room for new beginnings and new opportunities. So good job, Gemini. I love this type of energy. And this is with the new moon energy. So you guys could have felt some type of shift. Or you just felt some type of changes possibly with this past new moon or this new moon that we'll be having after this full moon. But it's like you kind of feel a little bit of relief, like, like you know something new is headed your way. 
What messages do you have for my Gemini series? What kind of energy is around them during the full moon? What message do you have for my Gemini series? What type of energy is around them? Okay, so some of you could be operating in your fourth house. And this planet is ruled by the moon and cancer. So this is the, the house of home. You know, you could be spending a lot of more time at home just trying to become more grounded, more stable. But this is how you nurture yourself and how you show self-love. You are fulfilling your emotional needs. You're setting and want to have firm foundations. You want to feel more secure. And also, you're thinking about your past, like maybe your childhood. So during this time, you know, a lot of you or some of you guys could have been thinking more about your childhood, thinking about the good times, the bad times. But I feel like for a few of you, you could have been reflecting back on the negative times. And maybe that was some of the things that were holding you back. Or maybe you was thinking about you know, your childhood and how it could have not been that great. You know, everyone did not have a great childhood. Some people had great childhoods, other people did not. But whatever that was holding you back in your childhood, it's like you've done something to break that cycle here, okay? And then this also talks about how do you respond to things emotionally. So a lot of you could have been dealing with things that maybe had you emotional or you felt all over the place emotionally because right now you could be in your fourth house. And then we have Uranus, which talks about evolving. So some of you, because you've been in this energy or because you're choosing to not let something hold you back, it's like now you're going to evolve, okay? Then we have Virgo here. So you need to look at your placements and see, could Virgo be in your fourth house or is Virgo in Uranus at this time? But look where Virgo placement could be in your house at this time, Gemini. Let me get one more card before we close out this reading. So a lot of you are evolving, you're choosing to nurture yourself, you're showing yourself self-love, and you're also fulfilling your emotional needs. So I feel like if you're not in this energy right now, Gemini, once you do evolve, once you let go of that past that's been holding you back, you will evolve, okay? You will be able to respond possibly better to emotional situations than you did in the past. You know, in the past, you always maybe were emotional and cried when things happen, but it's like now you're able to, like, just stand your ground and kind of let things rub off your shoulders, okay? All right, you guys, that's all I have for this full moon reading. I hope something here resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and stay blessed.